ground that barely needs an introduction. The grand theatre for many a footballing drama. Welcome to the Theatre of Dreams, Old Trafford. And our live game is Manchester United against Real Madrid. I'm Peter Drury, and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Well, I can tell you, I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. things running Jim you've played in games of this nature who can make the difference yeah Thibaut Courtois he's a huge presence between the sticks and that's not just because he's six foot six Peter he's got great reflexes wonderful positioning and uh, he's a strong defensive leader I think opposition defenses will also need to watch out for his long throws they're quick they're accurate and a source of many a good counter-attack yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Driving on, he could shoot here. Timely intervention. Out to the left it goes. Benzema. Now it's Benzema. And now they can launch a counter. And it's Tony Cross. forward tries a through ball Sancho <laughs> now the pass he's got through he's had a go it's a loose ball he's got away with one there Oh, look, I don't need to tell you that that is not a good area to lose possession in. And should it be repeated, I think there's a real chance that the next time they're going to be punished for it. It's come loose. And through to the goalkeeper. Vinicius Junior. Benzema. Oh, the ball's come loose. Hits one. That is absolutely glorious. Oh, that is a gem. <laughs> he was so alert to the possibilities there. Great stuff. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch. Real Madrid draw first blood here. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Bruno Fernandes. Just the goalkeeper to beat. And the ball's come out. Decent strike, kept it fizzing low. Well, the precision wasn't quite in keeping with the quality of the strike, but there was lots of power behind it. Tony Kroos. Lucas Vasquez passes it through, and it's Modric. It took genuine bravery to attempt to tackle there. Mind you, he had little option. Oh, that's very well played. What a good solid tackle that was. He knew his team were vulnerable then, and something had to be done. 
Great, great commitment. He's made sure that that won't get through. Now it's Benzema, and the counter is on. Manchester United get themselves out of a self-dug hole. He had a decision to make there, and he got it absolutely spot on with a beautiful piece of timing in the tackle. And he hesitates. Cristiano Ronaldo, a class apart, out on his own. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, for me, both sides are strong and well-matched, and I think you need to be a good player to be out there right now. Looks like a good ball through. Peters tries to get some whiff on it. That is wayward. I think he's done very well to get into such a good position in front of the goal, but he just couldn't put in the telling touch. Foul. Simple decision for the referee. They've managed to get it away. And he's on his way. That's gone a long way up and away. That's not going to make it. Boots it upfield. Benzema tries running with the ball at his feet. A chance! Benzema has a goal! Saved only by poor finishing. It's a good attempt, but it was always going to be a long shot, if you'll pardon the pun. he's looking for now it's Benzema is it in and that'll be the last act of the first half so there was the first half it's been a, a could have should have first half both sides could have been in front and certainly each should have uh, scored more goals. And while it's nerve-wracking for the supporters, I think the neutrals will be happy to lap up another 45 minutes. That's a really interesting game, and they head in at half-time at 1-1. Casemiro, spoon forward. That'll be a throw. Crosses in a low one. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. Chance! It's out for a goal kick. Lucas Vasquez. This is quite a run, and he's not done yet. Oh, lots to admire in the run and the defending. De Gea can hoist it clear. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Hits one! It's there! Manchester United are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven.
Manchester United take the lead. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back a bit. Looks to slip it through. Ronaldo showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Real Madrid have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Coaxed out to the wing. Could try cutting inside here. He's gone for it! It's in! And with that goal comes comfort! Well, that always looked the likely outcome. Well, to his credit, he managed to ghost into space to, to finish things off, but the failure to spot him was, was ghastly defence. change here there's a man waiting to come on Manchester United and two up and into a position of real strength look this position ought to convince them to increase their lead I think they should uh, be really positive about this now Peter gets up to head it oh great save real class the keeper has shown Great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. Modric. A real chance to break. Manchester United saved by a gutsy tackle. He had to get it right. Well, if ever a tackle had to be made, that was about the perfect example. They were completely caught out by the break and they got themselves into last resort territory. What a saviour. The referee has brought play back and shown him a yellow card. Alaba. Bruno Fernandes with the ball through. In he goes again! The ball's come loose and the chase is on. It's a long forward pass. Casemiro. Corner it is. Mondi. It's good distance on it. They get a throw in. Peters. Courtois deals with it effortlessly. Diogo Dallo. And he's whipped it in low. Get that clear. And it's Benzema. And that's clear cut. It's a free kick. Benzema. Real Madrid have a free kick. And there's obvious upset over that challenge. You can see the players face to face. Let's hope this doesn't escalate. Well, technically, that was a beautifully struck shot from so far out, and I just thought he was a little unlucky then. Peters passes it through. That intervention was very necessary. Looking to get within range. And he nearly went all the way. Listen, I know I'm supposed to remain impartial, but... Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick.
Cristiano Ronaldo. Looks like a good ball through. And out to safety. Now it's Fernandes. He's had a go! Modric. Good challenge, he just stood firm. The question, that's a foul. I don't think the referee has much choice here. Second yellow card, there it is. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Well, there may be some scope for debate over the seriousness of the offence, but none over its repercussions. They'll have to see out the rest of the game with ten men. Well, what goes through a player's head at times like that is a mystery to me. And that's it. Manchester United have done it in dramatic fashion. A massive test of character, and they passed it with flying colours. A truly outstanding comeback by any measure.